Hey shooters, we're out here for another out of the box and to the match gun review of what? Dun, 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 dun. Smith and Wesson Performance Center. It is a model 929, 9mm, 6.5 inch barrel revolver. Yep, I'm going back to that well again to see how uh, Smith can do on, on another Performance Center gun. So there it is, titanium cylinder, chamfered. Six and a half inch barrel. It's got a little dummy uh, uh, collet on here. It's got, also got a single port comp. You can remove that screw and put a single port comp on. Uh, all black sights. Again, this is out of the box, unfired. The only thing I did do, I popped the side plate off. Notice uh, Jerry Mich Michalik's uh, signature right there, so you know it's really good. Pop the side plate off, do a little oil in it, and dry fired it. Speaking of dry fire, uh, it's like 10 and a half pounds DA, and just a little over four single action. Nice Chris single action, but we don't shoot these things single action. We shoot them Jerry Mitchellick style, double action. So it is the 929 Smith out of the box and to the match gun review. It does use uh, full moon clips and they look like that. Having my pretty lipstick red bullets that are the Federal Syntec. Got a pile of these loaded up and some 124s. And this is the coolest thing. I bought this because I knew I'd have to load a bunch of ammo. It is the moon clip tool. Made in USA. Really neat. You drop those things on there and put the round in there and click it in place. Put a round in, snap, snap it in place. Put a round in, snap it in place. Comes with a bunch of different arbors, or you can buy a bunch of different arbors. Load your 625 up. Uh, various uh, interior diameters with these ranch products or whatever uh, um, moon clips you use. Anyways, it is the Smith & Wesson 929 out of the box and to the, uh, out of the box and to the match gun review. See you on the range. What's see, Dari? Okay, make ready. Sidari? Yeah. A center fire double action revolver, which okay. is that. <laughs> yes, I'm going to the well again, trying to do a, another Smith & Wesson revolver. You know I had problems with the 617. So we're going to try again. I really love revolvers, and I really want to shoot some. So the metal load's been given. We're going to throw in some uh, ammo and see where this uh, dog shoots. Shooter's ready. Sure. Stand by. This is going to be done. 458. 458. I just got my butt whooped. <laughs> Takes a lot longer than I expected. You really have to watch the sights and roll the trigger all the way through. World champion Michael Pogge, I'm not. Nor will I ever be. Stand by. Four thirty nine. Four three nine. And I can't I can't cheat. Well I know how many rounds I fired at the end of the match. What? All right. Stand by. Three seventy eight. Three seven eight. This is actually kind of fun. Now see, this is, harkens back to the Webley. If you haven't watched that video, watch the Webley video. That gun's a lot of fun, but it only got six rounds. And my RO, Dale, waited all day for me to make a reload. And he had to wait all day. Dang it. <laughs> Stand by. 12. See? See? Left. Seven rounds to get through that. 612. 612. See, I'm getting on the happy. A happy stick already, man. This gun's fun already. Stand by. 467. 467. Load show clear. Roll it in and put it away. Okay. That is really fun and it worked perfectly. Yay, Smith! Mr. Wesson 929, so far so good. Oh. The revolver guy's over. Stand by. 538. 538. Oh, I used a bolt that time. Mix and match. I got reds from Federal and I got jacketed from Federal. Because Federal's where you ought to be buying your ammo. Stand by. 
Stand by. Three ninety-eight. The red bullets really, really hit the, aim for the targets. You just get close, the bullets go right there. <laughs> uh, it's getting deep. <laughs> Stand by. Come on. <laughs> 568. I can't help it. It doesn't matter what platform I use. Once I get, think I get half used to it, I'm on the throttle, man. It's all about the speed. Shooter's ready, stand by. Three sixty-two. Three sixty-two. Last string. Thank you, sir. Woo, I'd be liking the nine two nine. This is fun. Stand by. Four fifty-seven. I was on the throttle that time. Woohoo! Thank you. Yeah, nine two nine. I like it. I better put it away. It must be Jerry's signature on the side plate that makes it so good. Hands off. Smith and Wesson nine two nine. Jerry Michalik Performance Center Edition. Thank you, Jerry. You did a heck of a job. Yeah, he's beat me in my own game. <laughs> All right, shooter understands the course of fire. Shooter's ready, stand by. 5, 2, 3. Oh, missed just the swap them out there. Missed the big one. Uh, I missed two, the big two. one. Shooter's ready, stand by. Four, five, five. Oh. Four, five, five. You know what happened was I was so happy with the speed I was traveling. It's like, oh, I'll just fling them out there. I'll get it. I nope. can shoot more. Still got a pilot that thing. Shooter's ready. Stand by. Oh, come on. Front the target. Six, zero, one. I actually pulled the trigger twice Zero with the front side all the way off the left side of the target. Just saw it there and pulled the trigger anyways. Maybe it get there by accident. I thought, you saw, I thought those were self-guided bullets. Yeah, the red ones, they are. Shooter's ready, stand by. Well, that was boring. Three, yeah. seven, six. Three, seven, six, last string. Stand by. Oh, three eight three. That felt so good. Three eight three. Thank you. You've redeemed yourself, Smith and Weston. That six seventeen was a bomber. This is a, a this is the bomb. To be like the cool kids, and I'm not. Shooter's <laughs> ready. Oh, the pistol's not Stand by. So you don't get to shoot it. I just bought. It. 330. 330. Oh, I know, right? That's the... I don't like They're never sweaty. This is weird. This is stupid. It's the muffs. It's the muffs. Stand by. I don't like it. That's why I don't like muffs. 280. 280. <laughs> Stand, Stand the, by. Is it the one? He just, he just got it. 244. 244. Four. Four. Like, I like this gun. Let's shoot this one. No, that's it. What does this knob do? It turns on and off the sound. Stand by. I just turned it. Three. 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 Man, you know. Jerry must have a grip from like a gorilla, man. My hands are already getting tired. Exactly. <laughs> Stand by. Oh. Come on. 
Six eleven. Six Giggle. eleven. Giggle. I know because I do, because I've done the same. Hey, thank you. Oh, that was the last drink. Sorry. Yeah, I hope so. Hell, that's hot. Titanium cylinder gets warm. <laughs> that is really fun. I can see how guys get hooked on revolver. You may make drinks. That's the swing. I mean, it's little big, big little. Little big, big little. Right there, right there. I'm gonna try anyway. Little big, big little. She was ready? Stand by. Do you think we can go shoot? Six oh seven. Six oh seven. Ah. This, is, this is where you lose steel challenge. This stage right here. Well, it's short to four runs. You thought you had the truth. Stand by. Five thirty-six. Edger. It was the edge. It was the edge. Right there. Two o'clock. Eleven o'clock. There's one Matthew. They just line them up. Two o'clock. Eleven o'clock with a bigger head. Like there's just half. There's got to be a third of a bullet grazing into that thing. Come on, Pat. Stand by. Thank you. 681. 681. Oh, wow. this gets hot fast. That's nice. <laughs> I didn't do it the right way, did I? Well, I didn't shoot it with a crap. Oh, is that the, that's your lever? Looks like that's one of them. Stand by. Looks like I'm ready. That 554. 554. 554. Last string. What's the recoil on that? Oh, man. There is no recoil. It's minor. I mean, I've, I'm shooting cowboy loads, but that means pretty, pretty low power. Stand by. You clear the gun, you know it's off. I don't know what the road is. You can just make it down there. Uh, I'm riding this. Six fifty-three. I wanted to average five so bad, and that's not even very good. I just thought if I shoot, could shoot fives, that'd be adequate. That's it, right? Yeah, that's it. Hey shooters, out here finishing up the accuracy phase of my out of the box and to the match gun review with the Smith & Wesson 8-holer. That's not what they call it, you can see there's 8 holes in that cylinder. It's the model 929 from the Performance Center, it has Jerry Mitchellick's uh, signature on the side of the side plate. I really wanted to like this gun and I did like shooting it, I really did. Uh, like 10.5 pound double action uh, trigger pull and a little over 4 on the trigger scale single action. Titanium cylinder, six and a half inch barrel. Uh, it's got a little, in, see how that little barrel's got a step in it? Well, it's got a little cover that goes over it as a thread, as a protector, and it's also got another cover that goes over it that has a single port compensator in it. It screws in with a little Allen screw that goes in the end. Kind of an interesting little, uh, you know, bebop you stick on the end. Uh, if I didn't, what I didn't care for, I don't care for black on black sights anymore. I don't can't see them well enough. Uh, I either have to open up the rear notch to get some more light around the, the uh, blade post front or I put a fiber optic in it, which is probably what I'll do. Uh, I had to adjust the sights considerably to one side. Uh, point the gun on my own face here. But you can probably see that the rear sight is uh, favoring the left side. Why is that? It definitely took quite a uh, screwdriver trick to get all the way over to the left side. 
Is the barrel line indexed? Am I seeing that again? I'm trying not to have the 617 10-shot revolver that I had problems with morph over to here. Uh, I really wanted to have a really good attitude when I shot this gun because I got it so I could review it and hopefully have uh, Smith & Wesson redeem themselves in my eyes. Again, I had a great time shooting it. It shot well in the match. The double action trigger pull is nice. The gun ran just fine. No, mil no, no malfunction, no misfires, no nothing. But I had to move the blade at the end of the match because I don't adjust the sights while I'm shooting the, the event. They're out of the box. But I had to adjust the rear blade quite a ways to the left to get it to center up on target at 25 yards. And that brings me to the next thing I'm a little bit less than happy with. And it shoots about three inch groups at, tw at 25 yards. I shot five brands of ammo through it. Uh, I got a couple groups right near the uh, two inches, but most of them are three, uh, almost four inches at 25 yards. And I have a control gun I bring out. So I, you know, I'm, I am what I am. I'm just a man who can shoot decently most days. So I have a control gun I bring out and I shot the same target with the same ammo and shot inch and a half groups at 25 yards with it. Sub two without even giving any effort this thing shoots with all the effort I can put into it about three inches at 25 yards. Uh, I have a feeling it's bore diameter that, that uh, some of the manufacturers of Smith & Wesson unfortunately hasn't learned their lesson and if they're gonna make a nine millimeter revolver put a nine millimeter barrel in it. Don't put a 357 barrel in it so the bullets are rattling down the uh, around the hole. They don't get a good bite, they don't spin well, they don't run true, they don't shoot accurately. It's a performance center gun. It's over a thousand dollars it should shoot really well. But I'm going to hang on to it because I really like shooting it. Uh, if I'm going to shoot it, I'm going to have to find, to find some factory ammo that it likes or I'm going to have to you know, find some cast bullets that are 357, 358. Um, I had that problem with two other guns in my lifetime that I can remember. One was the Breda 92 that I still have. And I actually shot that in metallic silhouette one time and it shot great all the way to 200 meters. But I shot 300, uh, uh, 358 diameter 158 grain round nose bullets in it. That's a really weird bullet to put in that gun, but it shot them wonderfully. And as you go back to one of my other videos, I think it was a Ruger, one of Ruger autoloader pistols. Uh, one I really like how it feels and the ergos and how, it, how the trigger works and everything else. It just didn't shoot very accurately and it's because the bore is oversized for the bullets. I think the bore is oversized for the bullets. So I'll go back and, and do a chamber cast and, and verify what I have here so I can track down the issue and share that with you. But the gun ran. It was really fun to shoot. I had a great time shooting it. So it shoots four inch groups of three inches to 25 yards. It didn't seem to affect my skill set today, my performance today. But I'd sure like this thing to shoot two inches or better at 25. I can shoot better than two, two inches at 25 yards and I'm an old guy. I want my tools to be able to shoot equally as well as I do. And it didn't. So as much fun as I had shooting it, I got to give you the straight dope. It, the barrel may not be indexed. The rear sight had to be moved over to one side. It didn't shoot very accurately. That's a shame. But that's the truth, and that's what you get on my channel each and every time. Never saying that you aren't getting it somewhere else, but when you come here, you know I'm a competitor of some skill set. Uh, if you want to really want to know, I am a master level USPSA shooter in th three of the divisions or whatever they are. I pretty much only shot limited. I shot production once and revolver once. So I'm probably an A-class revolver shooter, only because I'm a master in limited, master in open. But I've shot lots of games. So I've shot, mastered eight of them. I have cards from diff eight different types of disciplines that I've mastered. High power rifle and all kinds of other air pistol and all kinds of other stuff. So I've been around the block. I kind of know what works. You guys kind of recognize that. And this gun didn't work to my satisfaction. It may to you. This might just be my gun. And it may be my bad luck. Anyways, guys, I really do appreciate you liking, subscribing, and sharing. You know YouTube is putting a hurt on all, all us gun guys. So the more effort you can put out on my behalf, to, to go to Defender Outdoors and, and buy a gun or, or something associated with the, with the shooting industry or camping gear, whatever it is they, they have on the shelves, please check out Defender Outdoors. Um, check out Savage. You're looking for a rifle and their 22 rifles are awesome. 22 PRS has taken off and their 22s are a bargain. And they all, everyone I've shot, and I have three of them, they're all minute guns all the way to 200 yards, depending on the ammo you use. So check out Savage Rifles. Uh, Federal has been awesome to me. Federal Ammunition picked me up uh, um, earlier this year and has been very generous and very helpful. Uh, and they appreciate, or they understand at least, <laughs> they appreciate it, they understand my honesty. When you see my groups, Federal is not necessarily at the top of the list for accuracy every time. That's just how it goes. I gotta tell you the truth, that's what I have to offer here is the absolute, unadulterated, you get to see it here, truth. So if you patronize 
uh, and buy things from Defender, Savage, and Federal. It really helps me out. They know that they're, I'm trying to promote the product. Like, su uh, subscribe, and share my channel. Get the word out. Let your buddies know that you get the straight dope here from a guy that shot a few guns in his lifetime and shoots some uh, for you on camera. Warts and all. Thanks a lot for guys for watching. I really appreciate your time. I can't tell you that enough. We'll catch up with you later. Bye for now.